What's up guys, and welcome back. This is your boy again, Adam Sling. How you guys doing? Welcome to another crazy video. As sure just support your boy, like this video, comment, share it in all social platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Sling. And make sure you subscribe. Then uh, click the bell notification to get update anytime, any day I upload. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So I know some of you <laughs> won't be happy about this news because someone even sent me a message recently, uh, that was yesterday, and he told me that I am extremely biased when it comes to Davido and Choma, that it seems as if I want the bad. I want bad things to happen to Davido and Choma in their relationship. Am I wanting anything bad? How does me saying what I am saying feel like I want something bad to happen to anybody? No, I'm not the one. Whatever that is happening to them is what they are doing, is what they are causing for themselves. I have my own issue as well that I am causing for myself. So, well, David recently followed Whiskey. That is another form of uh, reconciliation. And then unfollowed Choma. So uh, there's this gist going on, like I've told you before, I mentioned in one of my videos, I said there's this uh, gist going on of uh, Choma having a new lover. And David Doe recently found out about that lover. Remember when David Doe and Choma were not together, when David Doe was still busy, you know, trying to count the number of Punani that is going to Cain before going back to Choma? Well, apparently, Firstly, this is a disclaimer. It's not as if uh, this is originally coming from me, but uh, because of findings and what uh, bloggers like uh, Juice Cute, uh, Gossip Mice, and other uh, Instagram post bloggers are writing. So I'm talking based on that. So it's not directly coming from me. So apparently, Choma had a new lover. When the video was busy, after all, somebody have to warm the body now. Abba, you know, someone have to warm the body. You cannot be having so much money flexing and having all this good thing around you as a woman and not get that punani wet sometimes. You know, it's not it's, it's not healthy. So apparently that they uh, when the video was busy uh, piling a lot of punani out there. Choma decided to help herself as well. Apparently, apparently, Choma decided to help herself as well with our guy. And also, apparently, the supposed guy, <laughs> it's kind of like even worse than David when it comes to baby mamas. This guy had five baby mamas and six kids. That is also apparently. Five baby mama and six kids, guys. That's the person said to be Choma's new boyfriend, side boyfriend, when uh, David Doe was still out there, busy, uh, you know, doing what he was doing. Then David Doe allegedly found out about the affair and uh, David Doe wasn't happy about it. And David Doe even tweeted that anything that is under the sun cannot be eaten. So we do not know if he was referring to Choma before following Choma. So according to this uh, online blog, I say alleged lover boy responsible for the beef going on in the relationship of David Adeleke and his baby mama Choma exposed. According to the controversial Instagram blogger Cutie Juice. The name of Choma's alleged lover is Calvin, an alleged drug kingpin who has six kids with five baby mamas. In the report, Calvin is said to be dangerous drug baron who is currently residing in the United Arab Emirates from being banned from visiting Kenya. So the so the blog post said, Calvin, please allow father and son now. No, be everybody, then they threaten you. Now, see, wait till you call. Life threatening issue, they go on for Dubai, and people will not understand. Say, someone, they take bribe. Meet Calvin, a 33 year old Nigerian drug baron and, and a highly active fraudster. He's currently in Dubai, which is with, 
which is a mystery just as he mysteriously entered Kenya and second time, the second time even after he had previously been named, after, even after he had previously been banned from entering the country for at least a period of 10 years. He has his kids and five baby mamas. Well, apparently, like all those uh, accusation is not uh, justified yet, but what we know is that Choma and David do are no longer following each other. You know, they try to work, working on their relationship. We do not know, but possibly, possibly, uh, possibly, one of the major issues that can come between lovers, I do not think it's about disrespect. No, it is not majorly about disrespect or maybe we are arguing. I think it's majorly about it's either the guy is cheating or the man is cheating. And when it comes to David Do, Choma already know David Do is cheating. She already knows David Do cheats. So but when it comes to Choma, Choma, no, it's not that Choma do not cheat. So maybe something happened. Maybe something happened. We do not know. I do not know though, but according to our line, uh, our line uh, stories, Choma had a new lover who is now kind of like demanding Choma back. Like in a way that, come on man, you cannot just allow Davido to just come in, come in just like that. Davido bullshit you then, went around, I was there for you. Now David Doe is coming back and just fashioning. me. You know, a woman trapped in the midst of two lovers is kind of like her. I am not saying all those stories are true, but that is possibly what people are saying. So, so do not misquote me again. Do not misquote me. And uh, there's still another sketchy story though about involving Choma and David Doe. Allegedly, uh, Sophia tried to seduce David Do. I'm not going to be reporting that here. I'll be talking about that one later. That is another whole new story entirely. And they are kind of like, I don't know if they are doctored chat to back that up. So let's not discuss about that. Then we saw Lamide and his wife together. I think this is like one of the few times we have seen Lamide out with his wife. Few times. And I want to give kudos to Nigeria celeb who have been able to keep their relationship out social media. It is not easy. Of course, we are not saying they are having a perfect relationship, but keeping social media out of your relationship is one huge step forward. But a lot of people can't do that. A lot can't do that. Well, big one to uh, Olamide and his wife. Then now uh, let's discuss about will be Franklin and Timaya. But first, let's, let's uh, check out this video when uh, a man was trying to interrogate his best friend over why he invited his wife to a hotel. Wait till make you call my wife, me coming to a hotel. Why you want? My wife, I've been on. Well, I don't know, say you do introduction on your wife. Okay, I found one before. I've been me, you know. I found one, I've been on one. You don't want me last year. Yes, why you be say you call the control again? Make it come see you for a hotel. Well, what to make you the control and make come see for a hotel? Yeah, what? Why? Who have been to you? Well, my friend. And why you come to me that kind of thing? Why you come to me that kind of thing? I'll be your friend. How long you don't tell me now? More than two years. Okay, more than two years. You don't first time I ask for some time, I'll be? Yeah, stay up for two years. Okay. Me and my wife don't call your house before, I'll be? Yes. When you just stay my house, you know they see life for them? Yes, I just see Where you want Where? Wait till make you wait till give you the interest rate. Eh? Not Nothing. Nothing. Why? Why not to give you the interest? Why you call the contract call hotel? What thing you get when you make you the contract call hotel make us for hotel? No, I know the good luck for hotel. Why you the contract call Sunray hotel? Well, 
Because I'm not even not for hosting. Why you control? Honestly, uh, they do not have the right to beat that guy. Firstly, I just put that aside. But if it was the uh, Islamic nation, Arabs, I think that guy deserve a lot of trashing, killing, serious publicly. But they do not have the right because we are living in a democratic environment. So do not just laugh about the whole issue and just uh, just overlook it. Please be careful. Do not just allow people around your house. Be it your friend, anybody. The only people we can trust a little are our blood brothers and sisters. And some of them even do it as well. You come to someone her house and behind his girlfriend, how high his boyfriend, high his wife, husband. For what? For what? And this is why I I I, I keep saying whenever my babe is around, please do not wear any bomb shot. Don't wear bomb shot around my house while my friends are there. Or dread sexily. I do not like it. This is what I'm saying. I do not appreciate it. Because you are in a way seducing my friend. Of course, you're gonna say, Why is your friend looking at why is my friend looking at you? I know you're gonna say that, but do not wear it as long as someone is around. Same thing, I won't be wearing just boxers and living as singlet, walking around when your friend is around. Come on. Well, just be careful out there before another man, your best friend, goes go sleep with your wife, kill your wife anyhow behind your back. That shit is crazy. That shit is painful though. Well, uh, Uche said he was paid to criticize David O and Choma. Can you imagine? He said, I was paid to insult David O for not marrying Choma after Uche confesses. Nollywood actor Uche has apologized to singer David O for the abuse it rained on him after he failed to marry Choma. He said, I was paid to criticize David O for not getting married to my sister. He added, Dear men, marriage no be by force. Biko, forgive me, OBO, David O's nickname. Can you imagine? So Uche who has been coming out and getting David O, all those things he has been doing, he, he, he was paid for to do, he, 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 he was being paid. Well, uh, let's talk about Ubi Franklin and Timaya. Of course, I already we already had a discussion about this. I made a video yesterday and I posted it late. Ubi Franklin and, Dick and Timaya are having a very serious issue and that uh, Timaya has vowed to beat up Ubi Franklin because Ubi Franklin decided to criticize him over the eat and run case. Timaya knocked the woman down out of fear and ran away according to Timaya and Ubi Franklin decided to criticize uh, Timaya online for running away. Well, Timaya was happy about, it, about that and Timaya decided to you know, just to show who is the man, he said, Ubi Franklin, you remember the beating I gave you in January last year? Don't let me beat you again. And please, I like your new job as a fine nanny. And please don't mess it up. David Doe is a good guy. He can make your life. Please focus on your new job. Thank you. Then, uh, you know, Ubi Franklin was in one time uh, kind of like, made fun of being uh david o's son he finds nanny because the picture of him just being around the fine and all the rest and david o himself even called him a nanny a babysitter well ubi said i know because you see timaya as gangster you feel say in fee beat me no wahala i will find the cctv footage from my girl house see how he knelt down to bed he called me the next day to apologize because he was high and attacked me unprovoked. Self-defense came to play and made sure he got ease. I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't satisfied because there were too many big boys men who, who knew he attacked me unprovoked because he was drunk and did mine to fill gap. 
I am not a bounded person, but I will defend myself. But that is the whole issue about uh, Ubi and Timaya yesterday. Then now to end this video, check out this very heartbreaking video. It's not by force to have a house help. Not by force. If you know you cannot treat someone's daughter, someone's son right, please allow that person to go peacefully. It's not by force to have a house help. And to check out this video of a house help who was locked outside at about 11 to 1 a.m. This is number 7 Gladys Adolo Street, Asaba. Number 7 Gladys Adolo Street, Asaba. See, a housemaid locked outside by the madam by this time of the night. Let me show you people. See time, see time, see time, see time. This is 12.18 a.m. Madam, lock the housemaid, person picking. Look, but we are just coming back from the location now. Somebody locked somebody's daughter outside by this time of the night. On the cold. On the cold, they go to be not going on Are you kidding me? Who is here? If you know this person picking, you know go, you know go, go drop and for a in mama house. If you know one mother outside by this time, that side, call her one in river. You just not run around now, 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 now with your what children. If something happens to her, I want you, madam, can you, can you? We can never say we don't know why we don't put How can you lock somebody's daughter outside by this time of the night and you go in and sit with your own children? Which kind of wickedness is this? I would have come inside without black my wife to see you again. Do you know why? Do you know why? I came back and ran after them. I was at the lady's desk. I didn't know I did not Are you serious? Yes. I was thinking that she's at home, sleeping. Listen, stop crying, don't no, cry. No, I want, I want my wife to see people, to see what we have done. I know why I want to, I know what I want to do. I have been sleeping, I'm hearing my dog back and back. I thought that we have no problem. I was yeah. feeling yeah. which, knocking, is he in my gate or something? Yeah. I now woke up, where is blessing? I said, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a woman. He said the woman came out and saw her. And when he went back, he back inside. Don't worry, just, just let me just look at the police are here. Yes. Okay, come on. The police are here. Yes. Even if you do it now. Can you listen to me? I was thinking. I don't know what police are here. I would have been very happy. Hand room over. She has been maltreating this girl. That's a simple. Oh, be careful. And guess what? These people, the big, the most wicked people are the ones who are always on social media and they see every other story of other wicked people, but yet they are so wicked, they do not change. Because God has blocked their hearts not to ever change. Their hearts blocked not to ever see anything good. It's quite unfortunate to... <clears throat> well, thank guys for watching the boy girl from Slink, and uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, stay blessed. Catch you next time.